it's great to see everything, you know, coming back home. I'm gone most of the year. So uh, it's always a little different coming back home, but it's always great to get back to my roots, you know, the basics. You know, coming back home, I can lay low a little bit and just catch up with the people that I used to talk to all the time. Football is almost a religion out here. We're Title Town USA, we own that crazy environment, crazy experience to play in. Kenny is a guy that wants to give back. When he comes back here, he didn't come in, say hello, and leave. He was here for about six hours talking to the kids. We got all the team on a knee. You give them words of encouragement, challenge them to do the right things. It is what it is when you talk to Kenny Moore. Kenny loves people. He loves life. And it shows. I always told him, don't wait for nobody to do nothing for you. You do something for somebody. This is what he loves to do, giving back to the community. Kenny Moore is a family man. He understands them. He knows where he comes from. He embraces his childhood. He embraces his flaws and um, the struggles that he's, he's gone through to get to the point that he's at right now. Father, please. Father, please. Father, once again, Father God, I just want to thank you for grace and mercy, Father God. Father God, we ask that you bless this food, man. Spit the nerves our body for the first of the ten for. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask. Amen. 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 All right. There was a big household growing up. There's about 10 people that lived in my house. Grandma, grandpa, mom, seven kids. And uh, it was packed once upon a time in Miami. We were all packed in a, a two bedroom house and um, it was tough. I didn't really think about the conditions that we were going through at the time, but you know, as I got older and, and, and looked back and reminisce on, on my childhood, uh, it's it's crazy to even think that you know ten of us was in the house and and seven of us was children, and and the five of us was sleeping in you know the, the living room. My biggest fear, Kenny was the only boy, for him to not get caught up, you know, out there in the streets or with the wrong crowd, and so I was trying to find something for Kenny to get into because Kenny had so much energy. He was never, you know, never satisfied. He was always bored. But there was a Pop Warner organization. And so I stopped by, I signed him up, and I went home after work. I said, well, Kenny, guess what? And he always had to smile. What, Mama, what? I said, I signed you up for football. Oh my God, he was so happy. He said, well, when do I start? I said, we go today. So going through school, I ended up playing a lot of sports. I played football, basketball, baseball, and ran track. I was always so passionate about what I was doing. I just wanted my mom to come to my games, and that's what drove me to get on the field, is to show my mom that I can do it all. Did he tell you about that time when he told me he was going to be an NFL player? He didn't? OK, so it was one afternoon. I got off from work, and my thing was to get him out of the house after homework. So I took him to the pier by the water. And he said, Mama, I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be an NFL player. And deep down inside, I believe that he believed in himself, that he could do it. If anybody know my mom, they know how hardworking she was and devoted she was to her family and how loving she was to her kids and her family. And uh, that was always my why to just to do it for my mom. They used to always say in school, like, you know, who's your hero, who you look up to? And uh, everybody would always say, like, entertainers in the world and comedians and stuff like that. But my mom was my hero, you know, going through school. And, and if I could do it for anybody, you know, growing up, it was always my mom. Before his dad passed, I told his dad that I was going to take care of them. And I made that promise. But now he's taking care of me. I'm fine. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you don't even remember that, do you? Hey. 
the band would get so loud while I'm on defense. And yeah, that's because they were trying to mess with the offense. But it's, you, you it's thought easy. Were, you, you thought they were playing for you. Huh? <laughs> the first time I ever saw Kenny Moore was at spring football practice at Lowndes Middle School. Kenny was in the seventh grade, uh, wide receiver. He was, um, I saw him immediately I, I, when, I, when I walked on the field because he wasn't hard to pick out. He was the smallest kid on the grass. You know, I knew he was coming to the high school, and I knew he was an athlete. Now, just because he was the smallest guy out here, he stuck out his speed, his want to, you know, he was, he was, he was hitting. Ah, uh, I can remember my first practice, morning workouts. I was that receiver at first, running routes. All right. He said, hey, come do these corner drills right quick. Yeah. And that's when I went to corner. The first practice that I was here, I thought I was going to be a receiver. I knew you were going to be a corner. I mean, we might have played around with receiver. Yeah. But I, we did, you know, I, I, I seen the basketball court. He was on your man, you know, the whole way down. Exactly. I, w I was a good defensive player. Oh, yeah. In uh, high school. But Always had the right stance, you know? Yeah. My first time meeting Coach McPherson was uh, seventh or eighth grade. He had come out to the middle school while we were practicing, you know, just to scout. He said, son, let me tell you something. And I said, yes, sir. He said, go home and eat the whole entire fridge. And I said, what? And we just started laughing. And, and that was the spark of our relationship. Let me ask you this. You know, when we went to camp out here, what did we do? What did we do? Yes. We what hit. was the make we hit? We hit all day. Yes, sir. All the way to the ground. No whistles. <laughs> no whistles. You tell him something one time, it's on. You know, and then he's going to do nothing but, but hone that, that skill, you know. You know, if you're going to make it to the level that Kenny made it, you know, you better have that. And it's been a real joy, you know, to see Kenny come from that, that, that day, uh, you know, seventh grade spring practice to, to today. It's a, it's really a remarkable story. You know, I've never seen a kid come as far from one spot to now as, as Kenny Moore, as a man and a, and a football player. So, Rose, yeah, that's a whole bunch of love put in a row. It's a collard green There was a lot of spots around town that I went to um, during college. Um, there was a restaurant that came up. It was by a guy who did a lot of community work. He, he was always helping others. He put a lot of people before himself. Um, I've been giving out a few jerseys around town to, to show my appreciation to people that have inspired me to do better for this community. So right now, we are on the way to Big Nits to have a little lunch, and uh, maybe he'll get a little gift. What's up, man? <laughs> Man. Good, bro. Yeah, no doubt, man. Good to see you, brother. Yes, I see you doing your thing. Hey, man, I'm so excited for you. Officially in South Georgia. <laughs> we had the 45 up there, you know what I mean? So yes, we, had to, we had to get the updated version, you know yes, what I mean? Sir. That's nice. I got something for you too, though. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we hanging up, we hanging yeah. up with jerseys in the city. And, uh, oh, man. you know, this is just for all your, your dedication, your hard work that you put into, you know, your craft and, and your businesses and, you know, just giving back what you have to the city. Oh, man. You know, you're like a big bro to all of us in the city that, you know, that want to own something or, or want to do something great in the city. And you were the first to do it, so. Oh, man, appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Oh, man, yes, look sir. at that. Come on, That's man. Love, man. Come on, man. Well, you know we putting that up immediately. Let yes, me go. Sir. I got to go find a, a case for it, man. Yes, sir. So I'm Kenny. So glad to see y'all here. So glad to see y'all with those shirts on. I'm pumped for y'all. Uh, all I can say is learn how to compete, learn how to motivate yourself. You know, you guys are going to get tired out here, but just fight through it, all right? Uh, love on three. One, two, three, love! All right, everybody.
your child tell you that they're going to be a golf player or NFL or a basketball player, you have to believe in that child. If that child has that belief within their heart, mind, and soul, you never know. What I hope for Kenny Moore from this point forward is he continues to grow as a man, continues to grow as a football player, and to continue to represent Title Town the way he is right now. Sometimes I forget that he plays in the NFL, you know, but to see this, something that he wants to do to give back to Bad Austin, you know, his community, and the love that people have shown, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's really awesome. And I just thank God for it every day. What I owe back to this community is a role model, you know, for kids to look up to. And I just want to share the story of football doesn't define me. Um, it's just something that I do, and I'm just going to use this platform to give back to others and the youth. Want to take your X-Fi to the next level? Now you can. Get enhanced performance and protection with X-Fi Vantage. Plus, enjoy as much high-speed Wi-Fi as you like with unlimited data. That's X-Fi Vantage. The best Wi-Fi just got even better. Upgrade today. Call, click, or visit a store.